People think they know just about everything there is to know about the topic of abortion, and usually they've made up their minds about it. I think this is a different take on the subject. You know, when a policeman gets up in the morning and goes to work, he can get killed, and you just don't think when a doctor gets up in the morning and goes to work that he can get killed. We set out to make a film about what's called the abortion provider shortage, how fewer doctors are choosing to do abortions as part of their practice. We searched all over the country to find a doctor who'd participate. We finally found Dr. Wayne Goldner. At first, we thought we were just doing his story fighting a local Catholic hospital merger. The Kingston merger fell apart, the, the Miami merger fell apart. He was Baltimore. a courageous yeah. man, an activist. At least one hospital. And not only were we making the story of his fight, his particular fight, we ended up making a story about a town and a story about courage and fear and how this town was divided along that fault line. A doctor can be isolated, harassed, and targeted. Well, there we go. And there's the guy who said, if there's violence, well, that's not our problem. What will be, will be, he said. He'd been kicked out of the school where he'd been volunteering as a sex ed teacher. Picketers showed up. An abortionist has no place in the classroom. There's a definite link between sex education and the abortion industry. Rather than just going home, he decided to take on the town. I will go as far as Attorney Myers lets me go. <laughs> I'll go right to the Supreme Court. Next week's headline should read, Wayne, Wayne, go away. <laughs> A lot of the people in Bedford told us that they were pro-choice and that they supported Dr. Goldner. They supported a woman's right to choose. But when it came to bucking a little bit of controversy, standing up, maybe having to explain to their kids what abortion was about, they didn't want to do it. We cannot just pretend this is a utopia where nothing is going to happen. His heart's in the right place, but I also have a child that I need to think about. The biggest surprise is how a small, very vocal minority could control this town. But the thing you always hear, and I really agree with you, Wayne, but you know, I have a business here. I can't say anything. I mean, I have a business also, and I think that if everybody spoke up, it's a lot harder to fight that. What I want most is to have people see this film and decide themselves what they want to do in their own communities and to become more active in their own communities and to understand that they can make a difference and that it matters what they think and what they do.